YouTubers, welcome back to Bikini Nation. Whether you're an old or new listener, thank you for tuning in today and I hope you're all going well wherever you are in the world and having a nice Valentine's Day. Now, everyone knows we've got the Arnold Classic right around the corner, literally only two and a half weeks away. How insane is that? We will get to witness some of the greatest bikini competitors duke it out to join a coveted list of winners throughout the Arnold Classic history. So what better way to celebrate than to see the evolution of the bikini division at the Arnold since it was introduced back in 2011? Let's start it off with 2011, Nicole Negrani. Nicole is your first ever Bikini Arnold champion from 11 years ago. And wow, how much this division has changed since then. It is quite evident that the standard is completely different to now. Bikini now really is what figure division was back in 2011. And you can obviously see a stark difference in the muscle mass. I'm talking the glutes, the delts, the lats, and the softer look and conditioning. The difference in how important the taper is now compared to back then, with the broader sh shoulders, the sweep from the lats, and to the waist. The waist pinch and pop from the glutes, that X frame. 2012 we saw Sonia Gonzalez. Sonia won the 2012 Arnold Classic and you can see that even in one short year from 2011 through to 2012 there were some major changes to what the judges were rewarding. Sonia brought in slightly more developed and capped delts, a dry look. I mean look at her arms and a little bit more mass to the glute department. 2013 India Paulino. Now how good is this? India was your 2013 Arnold champion but what is even more exciting is she's returning back to the stage this year under Team Atlas and I think you guys will be blown away when she makes her return judging by her progress picks to date. Now again you can see the evident changes from the previous year and this really starts the precedent for the bikini structure which we see today. You can see how the glutes have gotten a little bit bigger again here and the glute tie-ins start emerging. The back is more developed, the waist is small and the condition is better than from the previous two years. 2014 and 2015, Ashley Coltwazer. Now everyone knows Ashley, she's the goat of bikini for a reason. She's dominating the division now and she was dominating it back in 2014 and 15 as well. Ashley won the Arnold Classic in both of these years and I truly believe that both her and India's previous win cultivated the standard of bikini structures which we see today in the modern bikini division. Ashley bought in her signature abs which really stood out back then and you can start to see the introduction of the taper coming into the division. This is still one of the all time fan favourite physiques in the sport. In 2016, India took back the Arnold Classic title from Ashley Coltwasser with a new and improved package, bringing in more overall muscle development, like look at those delts, while still maintaining a lean and glam look. Welcome your 2017 and 2018 Arnold Bikini Champion, Angelica Tessera. Now everyone knows who Angelica is, she is one of the fan favourite bikini girls of all time and she is honestly a truly wonderful person inside and out. She has one of my favourite Instagram accounts which will put a smile on your face daily, go check it out. Now Angelica's physique is very reminiscent of what we would see today in the bikini division and even looking at these pictures of her from 2018 with this physique she would still give a lot of the top girls a run for their money in a contest. You can see she has bought in more muscle from the year before, more glute development all whilst maintaining an amazing balanced look. Now, I don't even know where to start on Janet Leog. Not only is she your 2019 Arnold winner, but what is even more exciting is I saw on Sean's YouTube channel yesterday that she is making a return to the bikini stage. How amazing is that? I don't know what show she is targeting, but this is really going to shake up the division because you have the return of one of the bikini greats who has already beaten most of these top bikini athletes. Get your popcorn ready. Janet's 2019 physique is one of the most revered ever in the sport, and I mean ever. There is just something magical about this physique. It's so elegant the way it flows, so feminine yet so strong and beautifully balanced. 
God, these amazing bodies just do not stop. Issa bought in a whole different package as compared to the previous year's winners when she won the 2020 Arnold Classic. Issa bought in those crazy proportions for that wow factor. She really had that accentuated X-frame, those insane lats coupled with the lat flare and her teeny tiny waist. I would even say this was one of the most extreme looks to date in a good way in the whole history of bikini which really pushed the envelope and although the bikini division has slightly downsized and bought in a slightly softer look since 2020 i think it is still one of my absolutely favorite looks of all time now on to your most recent arnold winner from just last year jen dory now it'd be hard not to argue that jen's physique is now the body to beat for 2022 and it really sets the standard for what the judges are looking for this year you can really see the difference from 2020 to 2021 they are two completely different looks Jen's 2021 look is slightly softer than the previous year. She has brought in more leg development, more of an hourglass look, and you can see that the lat flare isn't anywhere as near as prominent as the year before. You can see the judges clearly wanted to bring in some more curves this year, and boy did Jen not disappoint with her flawless posing, elegant and poised presence on stage, and beautifully balanced body and overall look. I think this physique will be loved for years to come. I even put up a poll asking you guys if you think the judges will reward the same 2021 bikini standard and look for 2022, or will it be slightly different? And by slightly different, I meant, do you think they will reward a more shredded or peeled look this year? A more muscular look with crazy proportions like Issa had back in 2020? An even more softer hourglass look with more curves? Or even a more downsized look that could potentially appeal to more the mainstream audience and more attainable to the everyday person? But the results came in and 40% of you think it will be the same as 2021, which essentially means Jen Dory is still the body to beat this year. Guys, let me know if you have any other thoughts on this down in the comments below. And guys, back to the Arnold. Honestly, this list of previous winners is absolutely insane. What an honor it would be to be added to this list of Arnold champions over the years. I mean, I think it would be pretty amazing. Not only have we witnessed some of the greatest physiques of all time in these competitors, the 2022 champion will be etched in bikini history. Now let's not also forget that Ashley Coltwazza and Issa Bacini will be duking it out on this year's Arnold Classic stage. And how exciting is that? We're going to soon see the return of India and Janet. Boy, this year is going to be exciting. Guys, if you have stayed this long watching the video, thank you. I really appreciate all of your support. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. All the support really motivates me to keep pumping out new content. I hope you're all staying safe and well wherever you are around the world. Over and out from Bikini Nation. And don't forget, two and a half weeks away, guys.